The Swiss have made three major contributions to mankind. The cuckoo clock, the fondue set, and of course, nah, the incredible corner. There are two ways to take a corner. Like this, <sighs> or like this in my Vectra SRI with a stiffened and lowered suspension. No comparison. Of course, you don't have to go to Switzerland to get a really good corner. This is Mitchell's Bush Roundabout near Basingstoke. Brilliant. The Vauxhall Vectra SRI for the corners of the earth. Yep, I'd agree with that. Yeah, Donington, it was looking good for us right from the very word go. As soon as we went there for the Toka test, it looked strong. Everything right up to the warm up in the morning, we were fastest. The whole weekend was looking good. It's a track I enjoy, and it's a track Vauxhall's always done well on. At uh, the start of that first race at Donington was always going to be the most important. I had to make sure that I got right through between Rydell and Thompson at the beginning, got into the first corner first, then I knew I could control the race. It was a matter of being in front when he got to the first corner. I knew they would then have to kick each other around. I could control the race, I could dictate the pace, and after that it was easy. Cleland in the Vauxhall. What an absolute firecracker start. And already he's pulled out almost a second of the lead. There's the proof, P1 John Cleland. John Cleland driving a Vauxhall is pulling away. Tension mounts for the boys in the Vauxhall team on the pit wall. John Cleland in the lead. Looks to me as though he's opening up that gap and there are still a couple of laps to go and he's got James Thompson in the Honda right behind him. As far as the uh, Vector is concerned this year, we've obviously made massive strides. At uh, Donington, it particularly suits, I think, both the car and John, and that's why he was uh, so good in the first win. Um, but as far as I'm concerned, I think that uh, the car is now competitive everywhere. It's Vauxhall first, straight through the chicane again. They really are straight lining that corner. This is the battle for the lead. One, two, three. And John Cohen has won a race. He's taken the race, the first win for the Triple Eight team. Across the line in first position, Vauxhall Vectra wins. Yeah, winning that first race at Donington was great. It was nice to win a race again after 18 months. Remember how to open a bottle of champagne. Smell of success. Winning races again with Vectra. It was good, it was a great feeling. And uh, it just goes from strength to strength. When we return to Donington for the second visit, we had the most appalling conditions of any race I've ever raced anywhere in the world. There's water all over the track. It'll be hard, as you say, to build up any sort of a dry line. Look at the spray every week. John Cullen now piling on the pressure. And he's really, really coming very close to Mansell now. And he's he's overrun. Mansell overshot the mark. Cullen just set back there said, thank you very much, and I'll go straight through. Warwick has been shoved. That's relative to Warwick. There he is, Nigel Mansell, right behind him, as you say. An old Formula One dicer of his, Derek Warwick in the Vauxhall. Derek Warwick's got him into the last corner. This race never fails to surprise. Flashing lights from John Cleland. A second win for Vauxhall for John Cleland. Brilliant stuff. He'll be dead shut by that. You can see at the end of the race that we were kind of happy. And uh, I would have never lived it down had Mansell beaten me. So uh, for me, it was a particular uh, pleasure, shall we say. Vector had the answers. Wet, dry, it doesn't matter. We won the race. In the most appalling conditions, Vector is now a winner. Belgium. The roads are straight, the rivers are straight, even the corners are straight. Morning. Do you know what this is? Look, it turns and everything. 
Oh, yeah. I showed Jan what corners were in my Vectra SRI with its stiffened and lowered suspension. Now it's Jan's turn. The Vauxhall Vectra SRI for the corners of the earth.